Ninjago is a universe filled with fascinating characters, and one of the most intriguing groups are the Oni. These dark, supernatural warriors have a complex backstory and add a layer of danger and mystery to the Ninjago world. Today we are going to take a closer look at the Oni, including who they are, the three Oni masks and their powers, all the known Oni characters and the conflict between the Oni and the dragons. We'll also talk about where you can find Oni minifigures in LEGO sets and how much they cost. So, let's get started. The Oni are an ancient race of supernatural beings, known for their striking black skin and powerful abilities. They possess the power of destruction, Oni powers, with which they can transform into all sorts of living beings, probably also the power of darkness and even the power to create portals to other realms. They are a serious enemy that hasn't made it easy for the ninja. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Oni are their masks. There are three Oni masks that are said to hold immense power. At some point in time, the three Oni masks were created in the realm of Oni and Dragons by the Oni. They would eventually end up in the realm of Ninjago through unknown means, where they would be separated around the island. The Oni Mask of Vengeance is one of the Oni Masks. When worn, it appears to turn the user into a Master Swordsman with two additional arms. The mask was formerly worn by Mr. E and is now safely owned by Cyrus Brock. In addition, it is the last mask that has remained and has not been destroyed. The Oni Mask of Hatred was one of the Oni Masks. When worn, it turned the user's entire body into invulnerable magma stone, making them invincible to all forms of damage. The mask was formerly worn by Harumi and Ultraviolet before it was destroyed. The Oni Mask of Deception was one of the Oni Masks. When worn, it granted the user the ability of telekinesis, allowing the user to move objects with the power of their thoughts. The mask formerly belonged to the royal family of Ninjago and then Kilo before it was destroyed as well. When it comes to Oni characters, there are only a few to choose from that are known. One of them is the Omega, who is the leader of the Oni. He wields a staff and tried in vain to wipe out creation from all 16 realms and to cloak all existence in darkness. We don't know if he's still alive or not. Another Oni was Mistaki, who disguised as an elderly woman. Mistaki once lived in the realm of Oni and Dragons alongside her fellow Oni and was later dispatched to kill the first Benjutsu master. But after seeing the beauty in the realm he created, she changed her ways. During an attempt, to seize Garmadon's power, Misaki revealed her true Oni form and battled the Dark Lord. She was ultimately overpowered and killed. These were all known full-blooded Oni. All others are half-breeds and only partly Oni. These would be the first Spinjitsu Master, Master Wu. Garmadon, whose Oni form design has been changed for the better. And last but not least, Lloyd Garmadon who discovered his Oni site in a crystallized season. The Oni have a long-standing conflict with the dragons in Ninjago. This is due, among other things, to a story involving the first Manjutsu master, who was half Oni and half dragon, who understood and mastered both sides and was thus the strongest being. After realizing that the war between the Oni and dragons would never end, he entered Ninjago with the help of a portal and created the island of Ninjago with the help of his powers and the Golden Spinjitz weapons. The conflict between these two groups is a recurring theme in the Ninjago series and has led to some of the most dramatic and intense battles in the show. When it comes to Oni minifigures, there is only one handful to choose from. In total, there are five Oni minifigures which are in their Oni form. These are Golden Oni Lloyd, the Omega, Oni Garmadon and two other Oni villains. If you only want to buy the Omega, you have to pay $30. The Oni villains blister pack with the set number 853866 
appeared in 2019 and contained the Omega and two only villains. On Brickling it costs about $40 new today. The other two only villains cost about $5 each. You can see how the buyers attach importance to the Oni masks. With the Chrysalis season came two new Oni minifigures. Nia Samurai X Mac with the set number 71775 from 2022 features Oni Garmadon, which you can buy alone on Brickling for about $20. In Lloyd's Golden Ultra Dragon with the set number 71774, Golden Oni Lloyd comes before which already costs $35 alone. The two sets are currently still on the market and I recommend you to buy them. Because if they are no longer available, they will certainly be expensive. So, there you have it. A closer look at the Oni Ninjago. From their masks and abilities to their conflict with the dragons, the Oni put the finishing touches to the Ninjago universe. Whether you're a collector or a fan of the show, there's no denying how cool the Oni minifigures are. I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and goodbye.